Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick video of my farm build shelter camp. Um, I wanted to uh, make a camp where most of the camp was in the shelter and then create a sort of mini farm upstairs. One of my other camps is more of a farm um, and it's built, but it's built as a camp. So this was a brand new character. It doesn't really have many atomic shop items. I don't really have too much to go with, but it turned out really well. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way it actually turned out. Uh, the other thing I noticed today, and I thought it'd be fun to make a video uh, because of this, is uh, the lemonade guy is right in my camp. So I uh, just happened to pick a spot and he showed up. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, as you can see, <coughs> I, I, I wanted to just really have a farm, which was this area. So this is kind of where I started with. Uh, building crops and things like that. You'll notice my shelter is kind of in one of the legs of the um, of this uh, tower, this electrical tower. And then I have some water purifiers because because a lot of obviously, as you know, you can't put everything underground. There's no water. You can't do water underground. Um, and um, the vendors, the vendors, and of course uh, the resources, the harvest the extractor is above ground. So anyway, let's get into it, and I'll show you what I've done. So let's go over here. So this is the, the lemonade guy. So it kind of right at the edge of my camp. It's kind of cool. So I created some crop areas here. And I might actually go and put a bunch of more crops. I still have a ton of budget. I don't know if I can see. Let me see if I can see what my budget is. Yeah, so I mean, I've only really used above ground 50% of my budget. So I have a ton of room that I could still go create extra, uh, extra crops. Here's my little shelter door there. My resources, I have uh, the Brahmin there, some extractors, uh, sorry, the water purifiers. Loads of uh, turrets, because I've got lots of room above ground to do that now. Uh, my vending, my vendor is upstairs, of course, because it has to be. So I just built this little platform, just kind of a little area. Uh, they kind of covered the, the harvester quite nicely, perfectly, in fact. This is probably the perf most perfect uh, one I've done so far, where it's... Um, it actually just covered the covered the right to the top and lined with the, the top of the harvest, right? So this is where um, there's a copper extractor. Let me show you where I'm at as well on the map. Just sort of uh, above Poseidon plant, um, there is a there's a copper extractor right there. I kind of looked at a bunch of different areas. I think there's another copper one down here. There's a concrete one, yeah. But the ground's very sloped over there. And then my other camp is right over there, which is is the oil extractor. Um, which I made a previous video on that. So that's really all there is. I put a stash box here, um, which is a safe, just so if people wanted to come and, and look at their stash, they, they could still do it. I have nothing else. I don't have any machines or anything, and that's not my intention to have any of that. So if people want to use um, my camp to to craft or or, or, or scrap, they're going to have to go into, into the actual shelter if they can find it if they, they spend enough time to find it okay so let's go inside and i'll show you what i've done so again bear in mind i have not not many atomic shop items uh, i might have some score items but that's pretty much it all the stuff that's built here is is from it's just general plans i've collected from my other character so this area i wanted to make sort of more kind of like a home friendly Top area, so I built a little sitting area. Uh, yeah, sort of like a garden area, if you will. I kind of had walls, yeah, like little walls, but it didn't kind of look right. So I kind of made it in a way that, you know, it was kind of sort of friendly, but still had kind of all the crafting things. Got a, um, a power armor station there, chem station, tinker bench, power armor. And, you know, you can kind of make this area quite nice if you want. Okay, stash box there. Okay, so let's go into the main area. Close that door there. So again, you notice, I mean, the walls, uh, they currently the walls are free. I'm sure they're going to change it. That's a bug. Hopefully it's not. But you can kind of see I have a, a large screen at the back. I used one of the walls to make it look like a TV screen. I don't have a black 
Uh, I believe there's some black uh, wallpaper that kind of maybe makes a big LCD screen, but that kind of this this screen actually turned out quite nicely. We'll get we'll show you that little kitchen area. <clears throat> So most of the stuff you can find in the game somewhere, um, like I said, the screen actually turned out much nicer than I thought it would, uh, you know, um, and then with the, the added uh, mirror ball, it kind of gives you that little bit of an effect like a TV, but I thought that kind of turned out quite nicely. I create a little bedroom area in this corner. So pretty much most of the camp, as you can see, is downstairs, a farm's upstairs, and it turned out really nicely. I'm, ha I'm happy how it turned out. Let me kind of give you a nicer view, yeah, maybe. Yeah, let me just show you behind the walls. I mean, this should be, should be no surprise. Um, <clears throat> you know, for the power, the power is just these little generators, and I have a, um, a, a connector there connected to each one of them. This is the vault door there. Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, you can make a pretty decent shelter even if you have no atomic shop items. Of course, you know, atomic shop items always make any camp or any shelter much nicer, of course, uh, but all in time. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed, you know, not really just having standard plans. You can make a decent place uh, that is cozy and then with most of it actually in the shelter, right? So, uh, you know, put make your if you wanted make make a, an adhesive farm or or water farm if you want yeah you got the extra budget and then put put all your stuff downstairs so you know you could um find a real use for these shelters versus just being one for for looks um but you obviously can't put everything downstairs no display cabinets no resources things like that so not everything can go downstairs, unfortunately, So, uh, but it, it's more of an extension to your camp. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. It does help me a lot. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.